What's up, Thanks Athletes? It's Chris Heria. Today I'm gonna to be showing you five types of pull-ups you probably haven't seen before, but you absolutely need to give a try. So as you guys might have guessed, the pull-up is one of my all-time favorite exercises. It's a compound movement that mainly engages your lats, rhomboids, biceps, forearms, and your rear delts, which builds some serious upper body strength and muscle. And is not only a fundamental to calisthenics, but a progression to so many more advanced exercises like the front lever, muscle up, one arm pull-up, and a lot more. But for those of you watching that can't yet do a pull-up or would just like to increase your repetition, check out my video how to do your first pull-up before starting this video. Now the reason why you'll want to train different variations of the pull-up is to work and engage the different muscle groups in your back more effectively and thoroughly, as well as increasing the difficulty of your standard pull-up, helping you to further reach hypertrophy and build more solid muscle and the pulling strength required for more advanced exercises like I mentioned before. So if you're ready for the challenge and you're ready to make some serious muscle and strength gains, all you're gonna need to do is download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store so that you'll be able to properly follow along and schedule this workout routine from your phone any day, any time. Open up to the YouTube workout section. You should be able to find this routine, smash the like button on this video, and we're ready to get started with the first exercise. First one coming up is one of the exercises that I first used to start my calisthenics journey. They're called L-Sit Headbangers. I'm gonna go for eight reps, show you what it looks like, and then break it down for you. Once you pull up on your L-Sit pull up, you wanna solidify that position, squeeze your core, squeeze the grip on your hand, and keep your feet as straight as possible the entire time, engaging your back, your rear delts, and your biceps. From there, you're gonna push on your hands and pull while maintaining that height in your pull up and perfect form throughout the rest of your body. All right, there we have it. The L-Sit headbangers can be done in two different ways. You can L-Sit pull up as high as you can and then start going back and forth from there, or you can do it like how I just did it. Pull up high enough just so that your head can go right under the bar and go back and forth and try to get your head past the bar. The more your head passes the front of the bar, the better quality contraction you're gonna have in your rear delts and your back. So definitely try them both ways. They're both really effective. And what I love about this exercise is that from an L-Sit position, you're able to eliminate most momentum while developing a really strong core and engaging your lower back way more than the average pull-up position and activating muscle fibers that you weren't firing off before as efficiently and developing insane control as you'll be able to manipulate your body from the highest range of motion of pull-up. It quickly opened up my pulling skill and strength to the next level and I was able to progress really quick. At the beginning you might be using a bit of swing but over time you're going to perfect this movement and you're going to get an insane amount of results. So before getting into this move you really want to make sure that you have your L-sit pull-up lock and of course your L-sit holds on lock. If you need help on your L-sit pull-ups you can check out my video down below where I break down the L-sit pull-up. For those of you that are having difficulty trying the L-sit headbangers you can always try to do first headbangers in a normal pull-up position. Once you get the hang of it and develop more strength, then you can go into tucked L-sit headbangers. And after training those for a bit, you'll definitely be able to do the L-sit headbangers like we just did. So go for your eight reps, and then we're moving on to the second exercise. And the next exercise coming up is another exercise that I started very early on in my calisthenics journey that allowed me to develop a lot of explosive power, which had me progress on to muscle-ups, explosive muscle-ups, muscle-ups jump on the bar, stuff like that. And that's gonna be the alternating toe-tap pull-ups. I'm gonna go for eight reps, show you what it looks like, and then break it down. There we have it, one of my favorites to do back in the day. Now, as I said before, this move was a great introduction to start being explosive on the bar. You're gonna need to pull up hard to get your hand over the bar and touch your feet. And the body mechanics, bring your legs into an L-sit as you pull up to get even higher and make your pulling even more explosive is the same exact movement that we use when doing muscle ups, explosive muscle ups, muscle up jump on the bar, and every other explosive muscle up move on the pull up bar, like the 360 muscle up and so much more. And that's why I love this move so much because you're training the main technique to explosive pulling exercises. It builds muscle, strength, and athleticism throughout your body. Now to perform this exercise, you want to leg raise right into an L-sit hold as hard as you can while simultaneously pulling up as hard as you can. Doing both of those movements simultaneously in combination is going to have you explode even higher. And once you've pulled to as high as you can and you've reached your peak, you're going to go ahead and reach out and touch the tip of your toes while still pulling with your opposing arm and maintaining perfect form. Then you want to re-grab the bar and maintain that L-sit hold and then you'll lower your legs back down into starting hanging position. Make sure you're doing this on both sides and when you're first getting started, you may use a bit of momentum Momentum, you may find yourself coming down a bit hard, but the goal is always to eliminate as much momentum as possible. As you feel yourself coming down, you wanna to try to do that nice and controlled. As your legs drop back down to starting position, you wanna to try to control that as well. And as soon as your body gets back into starting position, you wanna explode like a spring right back up. This is also gonna increase your pulling strength tremendously, getting you closer to one-arm pull-ups as well. As you're pulling with a lot of force and explosiveness, getting to the top and maintaining your entire body weight with just one arm. For those of you that are struggling to perform this exercise, you can first start off trying this move without letting go of the bar. Just get that explosive move 
movement down. I actually cover this a lot more in detail in my video on how to muscle up. Check out that video and you'll learn the exact body mechanics on how to perform this exercise. Once you've built more strength and got the hang of it, you could eventually start releasing with one hand and try reaching out. Now the third exercise coming up is another old school move called around the world pull-ups. I'm gonna go for six repetitions and then break it down for you. All right, so there we have the around the world pull-ups, a great exercise to emphasize on each side of your back and your arms, as well as developing full control throughout every range of motion in your pull-up. It's gonna build an insane amount of strength and introduce you to one-arm pull-ups. As you can see, we're emphasizing on one arm as we pull up and even when we come down. And you'll notice as I'm doing the reps, I stop at four main points. That's why it's called around the world. An example they would use back in the days was to kiss your shoulder, your hand, your other hand, other shoulder, that's gonna ensure that you're effectively and thoroughly giving it a full rotation. And that's exactly what you wanna be going for as you're doing this exercise while maintaining a perfect form pull-up position. Now make sure you're going both ways, to the right and to the left. And for those of you that are having trouble performing this exercise, you can always start off doing some typewriter pull-ups as well as some archer pull-ups. And if this is still too difficult, you can always build up your strength doing these exercises in an Australian pull-up position with your feet on the ground. So get your six reps in, I'm ready for the fourth exercise. That's gonna be L-sit to inverted row pull-ups. I'm gonna go for six repetitions, show you what it looks like. For this movement, you're gonna start off in a solid L-sit, then you're gonna lean back and raise your hips as you maintain your full body engagement until your feet reach the bar, then you're gonna row, bring the bar to your chest, come right back down, maintaining that perfect form, and nice and controlled back into an L-sit. All right, so there we have it, the L-sit to inverted row pull-up. This is an absolute killer exercise. If you really wanna develop some core strength, upper body strength, control, and some serious muscle gains, you definitely wanna incorporate this exercise. This one movement combines the core and lower back strength and control needed to hold an L-sit and the core strength, back and lat strength required for an inverted pull-up. All in one movement, compounding the difficulty and allowing you to reach hypertrophy to make some serious gains, not just looking strong, actually being strong. So when doing this exercise, make sure that you've already mastered the toes to bar. And I've also broken down how to get into this inverted position in the video I just dropped on my vlog channel, how to front lever. For those of you that are struggling to perform this exercise, I want you to just work on each movement individually. Practice your L-sit, practice your toes to bar, and practice your inverted row pull-ups. Eventually, you'll be able to pull all of them together. And if that's too difficult, you can always try this exercise in a tucked L-sit position. Starting in a tucked L-sit, then moving into a tucked front lever, and then going into a tucked inverted row pull-up. You can also learn how to unlock your tucked front lever in the video I just mentioned. So once you completed your six reps, you're ready for the fifth and final exercise. That's going to be behind the back pull-ups, Hannibal for King style. I'm going to go for five reps, show you what it looks like and break down this last move. All right, so there we have it. Behind the back pull-ups, Hannibal for King style. He's the first person I've ever seen do this. And if you don't know who he is, he's an absolute legend. I highly recommend you looking him up. I actually started my calisthenics journey implementing a lot of the exercises that I would see him do. And he was one of the first on YouTube building an insane physique off of calisthenics. If you want to take your pulling to the next level, develop some insane pulling and strength gains, you definitely want to incorporate this exercise. There's a reason why Hannibal for King did it all the time. And this is another one of those exercises where the strength developed will transfer and translate into a whole bunch of other exercises, like back levers to back lever pull up, hefestos, and basically the hardest pulling exercises. This is also gonna develop a lot of other muscles that you probably weren't thoroughly and effectively engaging, completely transforming your physique as well and getting you absolutely aesthetic. And just like every other exercise training like this, not just looking strong, actually being strong. So for those of you having trouble with this exercise or just starting for the first time, you can try it in an Australian pull-up position, otherwise known as behind the back Australian pull-ups. Bring up your reps on those and master them. And pretty soon you'll be able to take them to the pull-up bar like I just did them. And that's gonna complete the five types of pull-ups you may not have seen, but you absolutely need to start incorporating 
incorporating into your workout routine to build some solid muscle, some serious strength, and to start taking your training to the next level. It's 2022. It's time to finally start taking your training seriously. Share this video with a friend that's looking for new exercises to make some serious gains. And if you haven't already, please smash that like button. We really appreciate it. And it helps YouTube recommend our videos to more people out there. And to show our appreciation, if you like the video and comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some Thenx apparel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now with bell notifications on if you haven't already. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following my vlog channel. That's youtube.com slash Chris Heria. And make sure you're following me on Instagram as well as TikTok. On every platform with every post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're liking, commenting, and following. And of course, don't forget to get this workout routine on your phone as well as full access to all our workout programs, getting you in the best shape of your life. Download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store right now and get full access to all our workout programs. Technique guides teaching you the most advanced exercises like the human flag, muscle up, full plank, step by step with ease, and daily workouts that are gonna have you in the best shape of your life. And with that said, let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see in the next video. And I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. I love and peace out.